Blue and we're bringing you a, another album review. And today we, we are reviewing Blue Starly's second album, The Devil. And let's just go ahead and kick, kick start straight into this with The Beginning. Which is a very, very strong opening track for this record. Um, the cinematic build-up into the first actual song of the album, it's really well done. Um, it was actually used for Expert in Days of Future Past, um, from when I was reading about this album. And, uh, yeah. This, the song, however, I do have to admit, could be a little bit shorter. It feels like it's starting to drag on by the time it ends. However, it is a great opening. Next up is Not Over Till We Say So. This is a very, very strong opening song. Uh, the drums and the guitar tend to feel too fast in some sections. But the strong vocals and how he shouts go over the transitions. It's like, go, go. That's so fucking amazing. The electronics are very well done through this track. And Not Over Till We Say So is just a really strong opening. Next up is Armageddon, which is another very powerful heavy hitter. Love the electronics and the guitar work on this track, uh, which is something that I will say over and over again through this record. Um, the vocal-driven chorus is so well done. Um, this, this is just a good track overall, Armageddon. Down in Flames is very, very high energy and really aggressive, but at the same time, it's more melodic. And it's so well done in that regard. Again, the guitar work is outstanding. The vocals are well done. Um, Down in Flames is a really good song. Enemy is fucking amazing. Um, the soft verses work amazingly well with the melodic chorus. Uh, the cinematic intro and the bridge work fucking awesome. Um, it does kind of interrupt the song a little bit in the bridge, but... It's definitely well done. Uh, the lyrics are very well done through this track. Um, again, vocal work and guitar work, so well done. Um, really love this track. Next up is Ready, Aim, Fire. And this is a very, very aggressive and powerful track. Uh, guitar and electronic driven. The vocals actually stay on the sidelines this time. Um, it's more electronics, it's more vo It's more guitars. There's not so much on the vocal department. Um... The scratching throughout this track and the glitchy guitar, guitar sound throughout is so well done and I just love how he pulls that off. Following Ready Aim Fire is the track Rockstar. I love the fight song feel of this track and the electronics are just so well done. Again, yet again, um, I keep praising those. Uh, the vocals, again, so well done. Everything just fits perfectly. It, it's like if you took modern rock, modern hard rock, um, probably even metal, but I'm not 100% sure this would quite go into the metal category, but it's close. You take that, and then you mix it with like 80s and 90s electronics and music, and you get rock star, and it is so fucking amazing. Um, I really love this track. Next up is The Fall. And, oh, Jesus Christ, I love this track. Oh, my God, this is probably my favorite track of all of them. Um, I love the guitars and the heavy, melodic feel that this track has. The vocals are just so well done, so amazing in every way. And, ugh, the heaviness of the verses and just everything about this song is amazing. I absolutely love the fall. I could not point a single flaw at it if I tried. Um, next up is Shoot 'em Up. And this is a really good song, except it can be a little bit too aggressive at times. Very, very, very anti-media, for those who don't know, my finger is, uh, doing the, uh, hoodie thing. <laughs> um, love the anti-media message of this track. Um, I mean, I'm not... I don't, I don't pick sides in this one, but I really love how well he pulls off this message. Um, the instrumental is absolutely outstanding. The heavy guitar work and the electronics, so well done. Uh, vocals also, again, so fucking well done. The song starts to get repetitive, though. I will have to take away a point for that. Uh, especially when the last chorus comes in, it really starts to get repetitive. And I really don't like how he does that. Um, but next up is probably the worst song 
of all of them in this department. Probably the worst, one of the worst songs on the album, in my opinion. Not the absolute worst. Um, but it is still a very fucking good song. That is You'll Get What's Coming. And this is a very strong track. The electronic opening and the heavy track and instrumental is just so well done, again. But I do have to, again, take points for it being banned. The bridge is absolutely amazing, but the verses and the chorus need more oomph to them, and they just feel bland to me as they currently stand. Um, it just feels like they're missing that extra oomph. Um, and that's what the song needs, and it's just not having it. Um, following that is The Devil, and oh, I love this track. The vocals are so well done, the guitars and electronics really bring this track home. Um, the soft verses compared to the heavy chorus in the bridge is absolutely fantastic, well done on this track. Um, and really just love this track, <laughs> The Devil, that is the title track of the album. The final track is probably my least favorite, but again, it's fucking amazing for what it's trying to be, and that is Demon. And it is very different from the rest of the album, which is why I'm kind of air about it. However, it has a very, very strong western vibe to the track, and I really love that, and the dark tone is just absolutely fantastic. The drums on this track so just amazing, and the instrumental in general is so well, good, so well done, but the track itself is just... <clears throat> the drums are just so good. Um, Demon is really a good, like, highway driving road. If you're driving down a highway at night, that's the song you should be playing is Demon. It is so good. But that ends the album, and in general, this is actually a really good album. The last song, Demon, again, doesn't exactly fit on the album compared to the other songs. But otherwise, this is a serious, serious improvement over his previous album. And only because of... Um, a little couple areas where it gets a little bit bland and Demon doesn't really fit. I can't give it a 5 out of 5 stars, but it very, very easily wins a 4.5 out of 5. And that is it for this live stream. Like, fuck. That is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, I am tired if you guys can't tell. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Brewer Mold, signing off. Good night, everybody. Next time we'll be doing Cell Dwellers debut album, and then... Back to the drawing board with the uh, polls. So yeah, my name is Blue Emerald, signing off. Good night, everybody.